let's go through what I was looking for for a solution here. All right, so uh, we've got this, you know, hopefully you're familiar with the problem by now, but again, the idea is I've got these four connected link lengths of chain that are three links each, and I want to turn them into one that is a circle and 12 links instead. Okay, so I want to take this and transform it into this. Now, the fastest way it seems to do that, at least it seemed to me when I was first looking at the problem, would be to take each of the three links and just break the last one. Whoops. Okay, so if I break these green guys, then I can use them to basically attach every set of three pieces together. Okay. So that would be four breaks, four fixes, and that would be $60. Now, like I said, that's what I got initially. That's the first thing I thought of. So then the question is, is that the cheapest? And the answer to that question is no, that's not the cheapest way to do this. Okay. So let's look at it again. If you haven't done the problem yet and you don't want it spoiled, because so you're still thinking, now is the time to turn back. Because here's the solution I, w uh, I was looking for. Instead of breaking one of each of those uh, links, I can break all three of the links in one of the chains. That will allow me to take the first chain that I didn't break, connect it to the second chain that I didn't break, connect that to the third chain I didn't break, and then connect that third chain to my first one. Okay, so by breaking every link here, I can take those links and put them together with my three remaining chains to make one full bracelet. That's three breaks instead at $5 each for 15, three repairs instead for 30, and $45 is the cheapest way you can do this. And here's how, okay? You break one of those guys, use it to put together the other pieces. Now, this you need to do basically two things to, to have the right solution and get all the points. You have to tell me the solution, which is this 45, okay? You have to show me how I can get that solution. Now, like I said in the other video, your picture should be prettier than this because I want it to look nice. Mine isn't nice, it's functional, okay? So I just needed to give you the idea. Here's a picture I drew in 10 seconds. Uh, and then you need to explain to me why can't it be less? Okay, why can't it cost less than $45? Because I can show you how to do it for 60. I did up here. But that doesn't mean that 60 is the least, right? Uh, so just because I can do it for 45 here, that doesn't mean it's the least. It is less than 60. But I need to also explain why can't it be less than 45. Okay, so let's suppose, or let's ask the question, can we do it by breaking... only two links. Okay, can we solve this problem by only breaking two links? Well, let's get our starting point here. Uh, and there's a key fact that uh, I'll explain here and I think is is pretty pretty clear if you've been playing with a problem for a while. Uh, you need one link 
uh, broken for each pair of ends. Okay, so if I'm going to make this thing into a single closed loop, then I need a link to add together every pair of ends. Okay, you can see that up here in my first picture. Here I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ends. So I needed four links and to be able to connect those, right? I needed these four guys to connect those eight ends into a single closed bracelet. Similarly here, okay? I had one, two, three, four, five, six ends, and I needed three links to be able to connect them. Okay, so I need one link uh, broken for every pair of ends. So if we're going to do this with two, the question is which two would I be able to break in order to leave myself, so two links, can only connect four ends, right? Because I need a link for every pair of ends. So if I go up here and I say, okay, I'm gonna break this guy and this guy, I've got way too many ends left, right? Because I'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ends. That's no good. Okay, what if instead of breaking two ends, I broke two links on the same one? Well, similarly, that will leave me with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ends to connect, and I only have enough to connect four. That's no good. What if I broke two middles? Well, that'll be worse, because then I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve links to connect, or twelve ends co to connect, and I'd need six links. That's no good. So, uh, there's two more I didn't do here and here. Leave me with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nope and here and here i think that's the worst one because that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve i might have done that one but anyway so here's the argument if i break only two links i must end up with more than four ends okay if i break two links i have to end up with more than four ends because of where i started so this can't be done with two breaks. Okay, so you need to argue that point. You have to convince me you can't do it with two uh, because otherwise the answer for, you know, the $60 answer should be just as good as the $45 answer. So you have to convince me why I can't do it with less. Okay, if you have any questions on that, on this solution, or on the defense of your, your $45 solution, please email me, let me know, uh, and I look forward to reading your rewrites. Thank you.